Here's Lester, a student from Hong Kong. He's heading out into the bush to stay in Blinman, a tiny outback town that comes alive once a year for a weekend of fun and games. Since I've been in Australia, I've spent all my time in the city. Now, I've finally got a chance to experience the great outback. Meet some of the locals. They run the only pub in town. They're busy getting ready for their cook out back event. Hi, hello. Hi. You must be Maureen. Nice to meet you, Lucy. Nice to meet you. Nice little hotel you've got here. Thank you. Do you own this place? Yes, I do. Since 1986. Really? I've been here 23 years. So you're coming up to help us with our cook out back this year? Oh, yeah. What's Actually, I've got no idea what's, what I'm, what I'm going to do in the. Uh, Oh, well, Cook there's out. <laughs> we're plenty to do. All right. We'll have you working in the bar. We'll yeah. teach you how to pull a beer. And we might even get you on one of the cooking sites as well to help with the camp oven cooking. That'd be awesome. Yeah? It's Jim, this is Lester. Hello, G'day, Lester. mate. How nice are you? Thanks. Jim is yeah, our good, barman. Thanks. And yep. he'll be helping you all weekend, showing you around, showing you how to do things. Yeah. All right. And we'll look after you. So actually, how big is this town? Is that, is that all, like, what we I have see? 22 that? people. Wow. 22. <laughs> we, we survive on tourism. It's oh, a very okay. big tourism town. Yeah, yeah. Now, should we make you comfortable and take you to your room? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, here we go. When Lester first arrived in the bar, just kind of wandering in with his, his backpack, I think he looked a little lost. <laughs> This isn't going to be like any other place Lester's been. I'll take you down the street. Our two daughters run the general store in town. Oh, really? So this cool. is where all our supplies come from <laughs> in the town. So we'll go down and meet so Lisa. So this is like the only shop in here? Yes. OK, Lester, this is our general store and our daughter Lisa. Hey, hello. Nice hello, to meet you. nice to meet you. This is pretty nice. Thank Actually, you. Actually, what's that Guangdong Pai? Guangdong Pai? Guangdong is a native peach. So it's a oh, sweet all right. Pie. Oh, because um, Guangdong is like one of the cities in China mm -hmm. that's very close to Hong Kong. So I thought, like, wow, is it a Chinese pie or something? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so, what do you sell in here? Uh, we sell a bit of everything. We sell food and drinks and camping gear, ice cream, something. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not alien landing circles. They're cooking sites, all ready for the weekend competition. I've been told that the cook is going to be next to the pub, so I want to have a look. But all I could see was huge metal rings on the ground. I guess that's where they're going to cook. So just what is life like in a tiny outback town like Blinman? I often say to people, Blinman itself, accepts people and it's just it just feels like home. Our children grew up here in the hotel and our two daughters now with their husbands run the only store in the town which is the Lemon General store. Thank you. It is very interesting to live in a small town because on a day-to-day -day basis you never know what's going to happen from time to time. You may have a day that's just absolutely full of people all day every day other days, there's just no one around. It gives you a chance to just sit and do a crossword or read a magazine. The cookout back's been going now for, I think, approximately, this will be the sixth or seventh year. I love the cookout. <laughs> um, it's just really exciting to see everyone out there. And come three o'clock in the afternoon, when everyone lifts their lids, and the whole town just smells amazing. 12 to 1,500 people in the town on the weekend. Um, absolute madhouse, but fantastic fun. That's what camping in the bush is about, sitting around the fire, making 
food, drinking beer. <laughs> I'm in this uh, Blimmin Hotel and I've got no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow so I'll, I'll be looking forward to it because this is what I really want to experience, like being in the country, being in the outback of Australia. Right, so this is the mine. Eh? Maureen's grandson takes Lester up to see one of the main sites of the town, the abandoned copper mine. I don't mind it anymore. Like, no. So is there, is there going to be a hole or a tunnel in there? Um, there's a tunnel over there and there's a big hole over there. How deep is the hole? Around two, 260 metres. Wow, that's very deep. Do you go down there? No, you can go about halfway. Oh yeah. But the rest is water level. So do you, do you have a school in this town? Yeah. Um. No, we do it over the internet. Oh really? Yeah. So you have a little webcam on your face and yeah. You see can see the teacher and you ask them questions and stuff. Yeah, but you don't always have the webcam on. Oh. You just okay. use it when you need to show your work. Is it easy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just have to press the control button and speak into a microphone. Oh, that's very cool. And you can, you can have lollies and stuff during class. Sometimes. Yeah? In our class we do a lot of things about trees and lots of maths and writing. Mm -hmm. So many flies in there. It's 260 metres deep. Yeah. And I can't believe there's trees growing in there. <laughs> yeah, how does it get the water, eh? What happens if there was an earthquake and they all fell down? Can you imagine those miners, like, working in the dark in an earthquake? Yeah. Imagine sliding down there. Oh, that wouldn't be fun. <laughs> I still don't know how pepper trees go down there. <laughs> town in here? Yeah. Do you enjoy living here? Yeah. Do you, have you been to the city yet? I've been there a few times. Yeah, don't like it? No, mm. it's okay. So you prefer living in Blemen? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, because there's not very many cars and it's not busy. Mm -hmm. You probably know everyone in, in the town? Yeah, I do. How many people are there in the town again? About 23. Yeah? So uh, do you know that I'm going to be in the cook-off? Yeah. So what do you have to do in a cook-off? Well, first you have a, a pan and yeah. you put all your special like lamb and vegetables and stuff and then you cook it and then the people at the top of the fires, they come and they put the coals on top and the bottom. Yep. And you have a number mm -hmm. and um, you win $5,000 in five money. Wow, really? If you win. If I win? Yeah. Do you think I'll win? Maybe. <laughs> So will there be a lot of people during the, during the weekend? Probably about around 200. 200 people? Maybe 250. Wow, in that little town? Yep, pretty big place. That's pretty big. Then it's back to the pub where Lester gets his first lesson in pouring a beer. Tilt the glass uh -huh. so that the beer runs down the side of the glass, doesn't get too frothy. Oh, all right, yeah. You just pull it and straighten it up and that's a perfect beer. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. you want to have a go? You yeah, grab, sure. a, grab a schooner. Which one's the schooner? The schooner's is the smaller Small one. and oh, the okay. pints are the big ones. All right, All right? Yeah, cool. Okay, you have a go. Cool, All right. As long as you can pour a beer, you're right in an Aussie pub. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, Excellent job. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. You got a job, mate. That's all right. <laughs> you're a natural. Tomorrow's going to be a cook-off. Um, so we'll have to cook a meat dish, a meat and veg dish, and a dish that's made with flour. I don't know what, how it's going to go, but um, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> Get you in with a, a team, yeah. a team of local boys, oh, that cool. these guys have competed every year. Oh, right. Ashley. Hi, Maureen. How are yeah, you? This is, how are you, Lester? This is Lester. Lester would like to help out on the site. Lester's from Hong Kong. Yep. And no I worries. thought he could help, help you out. Yeah, that'd All be right. fine. So I'll, I'll leave you to it, Lester? Yeah, sure. No Ashley will look after you. All right, cool. Okay? Thanks. We'll get you in all Enjoy. sorts of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday, the first day of the cook-off, and things are really hotting up. The idea for the camp oven cook-off originated from serving and sitting in the front bar of our hotel, listening to how people are so passionate about camp oven cooking and swapping recipes and all that sort of thing. And we thought, oh, here's an idea, let's hold a competition and we can raise money for a local charity. All right, Lester, I'll just give this a lift and we'll just keep him underneath. 
Beautiful. Is that enough? Yeah, that should be enough yeah, for a while. Cool. So we've got a cooking now? Yep, yeah, she's cooking. We might give it a quick stir. Yeah, All cool. Right, yeah. See how it's going. Away you go, Lester, give her a, a stir. Bacon, lamb. All the veggies, yeah, yeah. all the good stuff. How long will I be cooking for? Well, being a soup, we can cook all day, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. You know what I'm going to participate in that damper throwing? Oh, yeah? Should, yeah. But I've got no idea what a damper is. What a damper is? Mm -hmm. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> it's a bit like throwing a rock. Oh, okay. The kids are all going to do it, so you'll be fine. Alright, cool then. Thank you. Now it's time for the damper throw competition. Wow. Damper is bread cooked in a camp oven. Now we have Emily. Here you go. As far as you can. You get points for it, don't you? Go, That's like 45.6 or something. Eh? That was a huge play, Lester. I don't know what was funnier throwing the damper or Lester learning what a damper is. 31.2? And oh, realising that oh, we really do eat it, you don't just throw it. Yeah, can we have Douglas? So, um, he did really well. Did you like a beer there, sir? Back at the pub, Lester's hard at it. <laughs> Last night, Jim and I were in the bar. Thank you, sir. And we were so busy, and I tell you, Lester was a great help. He really was. He took a load off. It was great. Well, I think we'll, we'll actually would like him to stay. <laughs> Can we keep him? <laughs> After a busy day, Maureen treats Lester to some of the Kwandong pie he's had his eye on. Mm. It's like peach jam mm. in pie. Sort of. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's why they call it native peach. Mm. But it's very, um, it's very light. It's mm. not, you know, it's yeah. not too rich. It's, it's awesome. great. It's beautiful, yeah. It's a great source of vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was uh, in that damper throwing competition. You helped out? Yeah, yeah, helped out. Yeah. I'm going to go with myself, but oh. didn't win anything. Actually, what's that bread or...? Uh... Damper? Yeah. yeah. It's a traditional bread and it's made with just flour and salt and water. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't have to wait for it to rise with yeast and all that sort of stuff. Oh, OK. So it's a traditional and you can, and it's traditionally cooked in a camp oven. Oh, oh, so oh really? Yes. Wow. That's pretty cool. Mm. That's just so good. Yeah. <laughs> And Lester ends the day with a wander around the town. While I was walking around the little town, I came across this cemetery. I went and had a look, and I was surprised at how much you can learn about a little town in the cemetery. Blimmon is a very small town. It's very dusty, there's no road, and it's surrounded by mountains. Very dry mounds. This cook-off festival, which is um, all the money goes to the uh, flying doctors in Australia. Sunday morning, and Lester's bonding with the locals. Look at the chips. Look at the chips. No, you have to look at the chips. <laughs> Continues in earnest. How's it going? Yeah, good, mate. Oh, I started cooking already? Uh, just about to put our uh, puddings in for the day. Oh, we're making a pudding? Yes. Yeah. Do you want oh, to grab them? Um, these are the pudding? Yep. 
Just sit them down on the plate. Four of them? Yep, just place them around. Beautiful. And then we'll just let it go. Oh, is that it? That's it. Oh, I think the kids next door are doing meat today. Oh, yeah? What kind of meat they make? Uh, I think they're going to do euros. <laughs> they might teach us a thing or two. <laughs> Should we go have a look what our kids are doing? Yeah, yeah, we go and see what they're doing. Oh, what are guys. you kids doing? We're at, at the moment, we're making chips. Chips? Chips. Can I have a look? Oh, wow. Is that for euros? So what, what kind of meat are you going to have in there? Um, Lamb. Ooh. So I was, how did pizza go yesterday? Yep. You guys made pizza. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Italian, Italian pizzas, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, more fresh veggies. You had peas. Peas, carrot. Carrot. Did the judge like it? Don't know. We'd find out, of course. Go. Go, 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 go. Today's highlight is that great Australian outback tradition, the swag roll. We also hold a swag rolling competition. A swag is a traditional Australian bed roll, canvas on the outside, mattress on the inside, and usually it's rolled up into a tu tight tube so it's easily transported. It used to be on the back of a horse, but now on motorbikes, on cars. And we have a competition, who is the fastest to roll it up. Wow. I think it should be ready by now. The cook-off is always a friendly event. Everybody that's here is always, they're always in a good mood. Sit him up there on the plate, beautiful. Now we cut the string. Yeah. It's a, a fantastic family weekend. It's like a huge tea bag. And huge having Lester bag. here and yeah. introducing him to away. the people that come up all the time, they thought it was just absolutely fantastic that he was doing this and they really wanted him to join in and help out and they they just loved it. it. Smells great. Wow. Wow. That, that looks that pretty good. that looks alright, yeah. yeah. That looks awesome. And that's it. So what are we gonna do next? We'll just put a bit of the custard around the base of it. Yep. Alright. And then just we'll garnish it. Yeah, just um, maybe spoon it on top. Put a little dob on top, beautiful. And a few currants just to top it off. Oh yeah. Looks like a winner. Looks like a winner, yeah, exactly. Hello guys. And after all that cooking and waiting, it's the judge's turn to get okay, stuck uh, in. This is from site 41. This is the spotted dog. Right, yeah. let's get into it. Yeah, and dig in. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. I've seen a bit of innovation using uh, boiling water rather than you know, like frying. Rather than frying or baking. This is one of the very few times where I think the, the actual spotted dog is going to be sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys cooking? Um. We're cooking a lamb curry, which is an Indian-based flavour. Oh, that's, that's very cool. So you, you guys are really army people? No. no. <laughs> we're, just, we're just friends. We're just friends. Decorations. You're just hoping to win that best-looking team award. Oh, yeah. of course. It's all yeah. in good fun. That's what we do for. Yeah, it's cool. Yep. Yeah. Just take it straight off, it'll be hot. Right? Yep. And maybe we need to give you a glass of water. What's <laughs> it like? It's like rocket fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Put hands on your chest. It is very hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm making a, an Irish stew with dumplings. Oh, Irish stew. Yes. Oh, uh, awesome. Guinness stout Irish stew. Oh, so you put Guinness in there? Yes, the Guinness. So, um, and do you make it in China? No, no. Don't. I make Chinese stew. <laughs> oh, that's good. You're working in the hotel now, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a bit of, I helped out with the bar a bit. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> Yeah, I saw yesterday. Yes, I love to go in there and have a stout <laughs> yeah. in the hotel. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the other teams do whatever they can to attract the judges' attention. <laughs> It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Uh, tonight, I'm feeling as full as a fat girl's sock. <laughs> <laughs> now, one day of judging, you're just full as a gog, but the second day is what really gets you. And I tell you what, once you've tried the 47th damper, uh, you really have problems. I won't go into the physical and medical part of it, but it's a very interesting situation. But the big surprise was the pea and lamb soup. It goes, it goes to site number 41. Holy shit! Absolutely great pea and lamb soup. Um, perfect stuff. Thank you, everyone, and thank you to everybody that comes and keeps coming and the new faces we've seen this year. We hope to see you next year. One more thing. Thank you, Lester. Lester has come all the way from Hong Kong and I think he's enjoyed his experience. Thanks for all being nice to Lester. Being in the Outback has been a great experience. I'm really going to miss Maureen and the family, and it taught me a lot of things about the Outback. After a busy Outback weekend, it's time to say goodbye. All right, see you guys. Bye, Lester. Thanks for it. Thank you for everything. Oh, this is a great thing. <laughs> Thank you very great much. pizza, man. Great pizza. Thank I love you. your pizza. Bye bye, Ella. Bye, Lester. Yeah, give me Lester, it. Bye. See you, man. Lester. Take it easy, all right? Thank Good luck with school. Thanks for being so wonderful and treating me like a guest. He's really part of the family in the couple of short days he's Wicked. been here. I might come back and see you guys next year, all right? Wonderful. Yeah, all right. See you guys. Yeah, you too. Take it easy. Bye. And Lester heads off for his next Australian adventure. Ha, 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 ha.